Hi, I'm Mark Edwards, a senior development coach, and I'm here to help you change your view of the way we deal with the VUCA environment. You probably already know that VUCA stands for volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous, and it's become a shorthand for the current business climate. But I want to talk to you about a different way we can think about VUCA, which can counteract and take advantage of the era of always on change. VUCA positive stands for vision, understanding, courage, and agility. Periods of rapid change can be extremely successful for those who manage the stress and the ambiguity of the situation. Some of the world's most successful companies were born in the Great Depression of the 1920s. Warner Brothers, AT&T, Jaguar, American Airlines, Gucci, among many others. These companies were able to harness VUCA positive to see through the horrendous post-war recessions and stock market collapses and take courageous decisions to grow and build organizations that are still around 100 years later. Uncertainty combines with the stress of high pressure decisions and leads to inaction. Constant change causes stress and reduces our ability to function at a high level. So how can we move from beyond the stress that the VUCA world is putting on all of us, particularly when we are leading organizations? Let's have a look at VUCA positive, vision, understanding, courage, and agility. In a VUCA positive response, leaders must show their confidence in the destination and direction of travel. You need to invite your teams to share in the clear, relatable vision for the business. When you suffer from motion sickness, keeping your eyes on the horizon can settle you down. Helping your team to focus on the goals will help them to get through the messy bit before that. Even if the goal is 100% growth in three years, seeing that and seeing that you have a plan to achieve that on a monthly basis reduces the stress and panic, forcing them on getting it done. You'll need to show that you understand what your team is going through. Active listening, empathy and patience are key here. The further we feel we are from impacting the change, the more we find this change unnerving. Our goal as leaders is to listen, care and give people a say in how the change will be carried out. We must reassure, not with empty promises that all will be okay, but with authentic care for individuals. You'll need to have courage. To bring a team through change, they have to accept that their comfort zone is gone. You must lead them through the fear zone and into the growth zone. Your example of developing new skills and looking for new opportunities can inspire courage in your team. But you'll need the courage to make hard decisions when you don't have all the data, when you don't know what is right or wrong. You need to have the courage to put aside your own fears so that your team remains engaged and secure in the knowledge that their leaders know what they're doing. And finally, A is for agility. It's the easiest to describe and the hardest to get right. Constantly adapting to what is happening now is exhausting and inconsistent. When I coach leaders, I ask them to look out for the smallest change they can make that will have the biggest impact. This is based on the Pareto effect. Sometimes it's called the 80-20 model. Pareto showed that 20% of work on a project accounts for 80% of the results. 20% of sales account for 80% of income. Making agile decisions to move 20% of the time will make the change not only easier to deal with, but will have a much greater impact. I've been working in organizational and leadership development for nearly 25 years, and believe me, I've had more than my fair share of VUCA. I've come to realize that it's nearly impossible to make accurate business forecasts with any certainty, but our best chance of thriving in this climate is to build VUCA positive into your leadership approach, vision, understanding, courage, and agility.